Hey everyone, this is a free lesson on how to find oblique asymptotes in a review of polynomial long division. As a reminder, the way these, exam these videos work, you want to pause and try the examples when prompted, and there are free guided notes available at divideandconquermath.com. And just a heads up, or you know, if you could, maybe consider giving my video a like, or subscribing to my channel, or leaving me a comment. That always helps me continue to provide free math on the internet. So let's get started. I'm going to start with something that feels like it has nothing to do with this, but all I want to know is how do I factor x squared plus 5x plus 6? If you got to pause to think about it for a second, go ahead. Okay, so we know that this factors x plus 2, x plus 3. Okay, so remember this. So now what I want to do is I want to refresh your memory of how to do polynomial long division. Well, we're going to set it up just like you would with good old long division, like this. And now what we have to do is we actually let the first terms kind of drive everything. So for instance, I have x here and x here, and you don't really worry about the rest of the stuff trailing off. So <clears throat> what you want to ask yourself is what do you have to multiply x by to get to x squared? Well, if I multiply x by x, I will get x squared. So that's what you want to write up here. Then you're going to multiply this times all of this and subtract off that result. So I've got x times x is x squared, and then I've got x times 3 is 3x. But you want to subtract this whole result off. So it's up to you how you want to deal with the signs on this. Personally, what I like to do is I like to just distribute the signs right in. So I will actually kind of erase these parentheses. I will just write what it means to distribute this in. So I'll switch all the signs around. There's lots of different ways that you can think about this, but that, that's kind of the, the tricky part with this. And so then you can do the subtraction and you're just left with two X. So then you'll bring down the six and now you repeat the process. So it's the same thing, it's always first term. What do you multiply X by to get to two X? Well, now you'd multiply it by two. And now I do the same thing again. 2 times all of this and subtract it off. So 2 times x is 2x, 2 times 3 is 6, and if I subtract off this whole result, well now you'll see it's just the expression minus itself, so now I am at 0 and everything divided in evenly. So notice that this is how this factors, right? If I look at the actual pieces, x plus 3 and x plus 2, that's how the factorization works. So all of that's actually connected. So this can be a really ha ha yeah. this can be a really handy thing to think about if you ever get stuck or you forget how polynomial long division works. Use an example to remind yourself where you know how it should actually factor to see if you can get it to work out that way. Okay, so with that in mind, why don't you pause the video and just try these two here. Hit play when you're ready to see the solutions. Okay, so for this first one, so if I set it up, so I've got x minus 1, and then here's x squared minus 3x plus 2. So I'm going to take x times what to get to x squared? Once again, that's going to be x, and now I take x times all of this. So x times x is x squared, x times negative 1 is negative x. And now I have to subtract this entire result off. And how you do this is up to you. So personally, like I said, I like to actually distribute the minus sign in. So I will actually get rid of the parentheses and then just flip all my signs. So this will become plus, make this nice and clear. This is a minus. So now I can really clearly kind of work through this. So this leaves me with negative 2x plus 2. Because I bring the 2 down. So now I repeat the process. What do I have to multiply x by to get to negative 2x? Well, I'd have to multiply it by negative 2. So now I multiply negative 2 times um, that whole expression. So negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Uh, negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. And then I need to subtract all of this off. And so that will give me that remainder of 0. So I'm good to go. OK, so let's look at the other one. So if I set this up, I've got x plus 1. I want to divide that into x squared plus 3x plus 1. So x times what will give me x squared? Once again, we just start with not x squared, just x. x times x is x squared. x times 1 is x. 
and I need to subtract off this entire result. So if I distribute in my negative sign, so this is just the way that I kind of like to do this, but I like to actually, I like to really physically go in there. I, I'm just very prone to making minus sign errors, so I like to make sure I can really clearly see what I've got to do. And so now if I go ahead and I complete this, this will just leave me with 2x, but here's a little bit of a plot twist. So now, what do I have to multiply x by to get to 2x? Well, I'd multiply it by 2. 2 times x is 2, and 2 times 1 is 2. And so now, when I do the subtraction this time, I'm not just going to get 0, right? This isn't 2x plus 1, this is 2x plus 2. So, maybe I want to distribute the minus sign in just to be sure of my signs here. So here's, so there I am, I'm distributing it in so I can just see what I'm doing. So this leaves me with negative 1. So this is our remainder. And so when you have the remainder, what you do with that is you just really bring it up to the top with whatever sign that you have with it. So this one has a minus sign, so we're going to just bring that up. And then you put it over the divisor of x plus 1. So that's all that you would do with the, the remainder in normal long division. So now let's pivot to oblique asymptotes. So oblique asymptotes occur with rational expressions when the numerator is one degree higher than the denominator, like these. So here, the degree of the top is 2, the degree of the bottom is 1, so that's, that's prime for that. This is also a degree of 2 and a degree of 1, so we're all good there. Let's take a look at this example, x squared plus 5 divided by 3x. So how would you find the oblique asymptote here? So we're going to set up the long division just like before, and we're going to go through the same steps. So what do I have to multiply 3x by to get to x squared? In this case, it would be 1 third x, and then I'm going to go through the same process. So this times this, this gives me x squared, and I subtract that off. And then I'll bring down, oops, no, 0. And then I'll bring down the 5. And so just notice here, so this is a 5, right? This is not a 5x. So I actually cannot, there's nothing I can really multiply 3x by to get to 5, um, because this we just have like a, too many x's is the way I kind of think about it. So um, you'd have a remainder. So normally what you'd have here then is then you would say, oh, now I just would multiply this by 5 over 3x. This would be kind of your stopping point. And for oblique asymptotes, you don't need this. You can actually just stop here. And the only part that you need is this part here. So I'll just make this nice and clear. This is what you need. So the oblique asymptote is really what you get except for the remain remainder. So the, the oblique asymptote, if I just want to write that out, so the oblique asymptote in this case is going to be y equals one third x, and that would be it. Why don't you pause the video here and just try this one to make sure that you've got it. Hit play when you're ready to see the solution. Okay, so I'm going to set this up. So I'm going to divide x plus 1 into x squared plus 4x plus 2. So what do I multiply x by to get to x squared? I multiply it by x. Now I take x times all of this. So that's going to be x squared plus x, except I need to subtract this all off. So if I subtract this all off and I, and I try to just distribute the negative in here, this will become minus x squared minus x. So we've got all that. So now this is going to be 3x, and then I'll bring down the 2. And now I can repeat the process. How many times does x go into 3x? It would be 3 times. So this is going to be x plus 3. Multiply 3 by all of this. So this becomes 3x plus 3. And I need to subtract this all off. So this is actually just going to leave me with negative 1. Once again, I don't really care what this leaves me with. Um, this is the part that I really need. So here's my oblique asymptote, so then I can summarize this as y equals x plus 3. So that covers this lesson. Again, if you give me a like or a comment, I'd super appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.